This is just a quick video to show how I got the app working. Now there's two separate ways you can get the apps. There's either the consumer version or the administrator version. This is the administrator version. I'm going to show you how to get it so you can adjust your settings for your parameters. Okay, now if you come here to Google and if you just search uh, Overkill Solar Downloads, I'll leave a link in the description below. But here you can download the uh, iPhone version, the Android version. There's a desktop version. I haven't tried that out. I'm not sure if it'll work. I downloaded the Android app version 3.1.1026 and then you have to allow third-party apps to install. It's like an APK file I believe. Open up the app and then you can give it a second and it opens up. Now this here is the uh, parameters. I'm going to go through what I set mine to. So if you go to the three dash lines up top and then parameter settings. Now here it has a uh, polymer normal, uh, polymer light. Those are similar to lithium ion cells. And then you also have uh, lithium iron phosphate normal and lithium iron phosphate light. I click on the polymer light. And then I come down so you can see my normal capacity is uh, three point or thirty two point five six. Sorry, over voltage four point two. That's good. Uh, under voltage release, uh, I like to change. So my under voltage, I'm going to change to three. And then this uh, under voltage release, three point five. And then. So my pack under voltage, or sorry, pack over voltage, I'm going to have it at uh, 12.6 volts. My pack under voltage release. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm just going to do 12 volts for now. And then you can scroll through. Pack under voltage, 9 volts, that's pretty good. Pack release, 10.5. Scroll through. Uh, charging under temperature. Definitely want to change that. I'm going to put mine to 5. And then the release, I'll put 3. Discharge temperature, I'm going to lower that down a little bit. I'll go uh, 55 and 50. Temperature sensors, uh, discharge, I'll just go minus five and zero, that's good. That's for the discharge. And then uh, charging current, this BMS will charge up to 25 amps. And then uh, charging current release. So discharge, it can do 35 amps, this BMS. Uh, I think it can get pushed a little bit, so I'm going 39, and then I have fuses on my battery pack at 40 amps. Balancing parameters, so it's going to start balancing. I'm going to change this to 3.8 to start balancing, and then I want this to try and balance them to 0 0.01. Press the button up at the top right to save your parameters, and I hope the people in the background don't... Uh, get picked up on this okay and then you can back out okay I've backed out now this is the main screen uh, you can see at the bottom different cell voltages uh, you can turn off charging turn on charging discharging and then you can see I'm gonna turn on a load here and uh, we'll see what happens so you can see right now I'm discharging at uh, minus 18. So we'll let this run for a few seconds. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. And then I'm going to turn on the charging. And you can see there with the charging turned on, you can see also uh, cell number 3 is balancing. It's a little low. It'll bring cell number 3 up to match cell number 2. 
or sorry, it'll decrease cell number three to match cell number two, and then cell number two and three will then decrease to match cell number one. I'll have to uh, cycle this pack a few times to actually get it to bounce out properly. But there you go, that's how you use the app.